name is Sharon, Sharon Han. I've always loved to do things like painting, DIY in a house and so on. I did a small doggy yusang for my family and I don't know how that photo got leaked out and then it became viral. I have my mother-in-law who sent me the same picture of the doggy yusang that I made and wishing me Happy New Year. And I was like, that's the yusang I did for my mom during Chinese New Year. Um, today, I'm going to show you how you can make a, a tiger ear yusang at home using very simple ingredients. I will be sharing some uh, methods that I use to create this yusang that you see in front of you. The typical ingredient for a yusang would be your white radish, green radish, cucumber, carrot. Okay, I need to first peel the skin off. So peel off the skin. Mm. This is a must-have whenever I'm making my yusang. The first thing I need to do is I need to put it in here. Alright, and you see all these little teeth here? This one here? Okay, I'm going to make sure that I push it all the way in so that it's like, you know, it will just bite onto the, the radish and keep it in place. Okay, so this is the way you use it. Okay. Then you use you need to use a bit of strength. I like to stretch my vegetable on a clean tray like this. So all you need to do is give it a good turn. Can you see? All this radish? Yeah, it's coming out like that. It's really fun. Long strand of fresh radish. So same thing, we're gonna poke it through that little ring hole there. This little teeth here. Force it all the way in. Okay, so now it's secured. Then same thing, you're going to turn, spin. And that's how it straight out the radish. Okay, same method. Stuck it through. Okay, and then we straight the carrot. Of all the vegetables, cucumber is the one that has the most amount of juice. Then as you're shredding, you see all these seeds here, you just need to remove them. So the vegetables, like the radish, they are quite wet, alright, the cucumber also. So these are the vegetables, you need to squeeze the excess amount of uh, water, the juice out. Okay, you can, you can wrap it up in a white towel to do it, but for me, I like to use my hand. So all you need to do is just grab a bunch of them in, the pa in your palm like this and then just give it a good squeeze can you see just give it a good squeeze just squeeze out the excess water yeah you want to get all these juice out okay so this carrot this radish i'm going to squeeze out the water too i'm going to first prepare my background okay so for my background i want a lot of white i'm just going to lay the white radish onto the background first vegetables are really long like this, you can always break them apart. Okay, break them up apart, okay? Here, I'm going to nest some in between. This is how you arrange your pattern. You can just pull the vegetables, shape it as though you are working with clay. So, uh, I like to use chopstick to sort of neaten up my art a little bit. So what I'm going to do to make the tiger stripe is I'm going to use a, uh, a peeler, vegetable peeler and the purple carrot. I'm just going to peel very thin slice like this. So now I have all these pieces of dark purple like ribbons. Then I'm going to use them to cut shape. So firstly, the around the face, okay, you need some triangle. See? Now I have one pattern in place, like this. Okay, I can have another one. Okay, I'm just going to make use of the green from this cucumber. I'm just going to 
use the green part only. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my knife to shape what I want, cut out what I want. For this other part, I'm going to cut a small piece of plum. Then once you cut, can you see the red inside? I'm going to use this to shape mm -hmm. something. You can find cookie cutters like this. I like to look for sakura flower pattern or any pattern you like. I already sliced the cucumber in slices like this and then I'm going to make flowers out of it. So all these flowers, I'm going to just decorate it around the yu sang. Okay? This is the remaining vegetable core. After I shred the vegetable, the inner piece uh, for the radish, I like to use it. Okay, so I'll cut it in small little buttons like this. I, you can use it to decorate. Okay, I like to use it for my flowers like this. I use food colouring to just stain all this, you know, to add some red to it, okay? Alright, and then I'm going to use this to put it on my the centre of my flower. So now I'm going to arrange the mandarin orange wedges all around okay that will nicely frame the low hay You can buy ready um, ingredients uh, from the supermarket. So I have here some of them. So they have all these pickled vegetables and all that. If you do that and you want to add more color to your yusang art, you may, but I don't usually like to do that. Okay, but uh, the set will come with things like um, the, um, the pickled uh, ginger, which is necessary for yusang, your cinnamon seed, okay, uh, not cinnamon seed, sesame seed, apology, okay, your cracker your peanut powder, okay, and then your five spice powder and pepper, okay, and uh, get ready some raw fish, okay, what is yu sang without the sang yu, right, okay, and also your, uh, a bowl of uh, olive oil, yeah, for, for the prosperity reason later on, and then usually in the set, it comes with a ready packed plum sauce, all right, so if you don't buy this, you can always just buy a jar of uh, plum sauce from the supermarket. Yeah, and then just, you know, dilute it a little bit with some water. You can also add some lime juice inside and that's good enough for your low hay. All right, okay. And don't forget your gum also. 
right? Here, I'm not going to go into the steps of how to do it because there's so many videos to tell you what should you do first and so on. Um, today's video, I really just want to focus on how you can create a Yusang uh, art with a very, very cute little cup, the uh, tiger for the year of the tiger.